pick up now on our lead story this morning. News at North Yorkshire County Council has given approval for fracking to take place in England for the first time since a ban was put in place four years ago. Yes, in a moment we'll speak to Ken Cronin from UK Onshore Oil and Gas, who's in London. First, let's go to North Allerton, where that decision was made yesterday. And we can speak to Simon Bowens from Friends of the Earth. Morning to you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. And I've just re read, and I know you would have read, uh, the press release from North Yorkshire County Council saying they're very aware that it's a controversial proposal. Um, but in this particular application, mitigation of the effects of the development with regard to safeguarding the natural environment, protected species and habitats, local, the amenity of local residents, and it goes on, can be achieved through the discharge of these planning conditions. Did they have to pass it? What we've seen over the last two days is really kind of powerful testimony from, from pe people who are opposed to this application. People from, from, local, from local communities, university professors, senior people who, who have served at the top levels of government, bishops, and, 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 and country landowners. What we've seen, what we've heard is, is many, many reasons why they should have, why should, why they should have rejected this application. The, the impacts on, on local communities, on the health of, on the health of local people, and on, on, the, on the local economy from this dangerous, dirty industry are huge, and therefore the, the, the application should have been rejected. It's a bad decision for North Yorkshire. And, uh, I mean, I'll just go on to read something. It says, the protection of the ground and surface water quality traffic management can all be achieved, they say, through the discharge of these planning conditions. So they say they've looked at it all really carefully. What we've, what we've, what we've heard from, from, from evidence from the US and, and, and beyond is, is growing evidence of the health risks from groundwater and, and surface water pollution. The United Nations have, have come out and said that even if, fr if fracking is regulated properly, and in, in, and in many cases in the UK it, 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 it hasn't been, is, is that there will be unavoidable and significant consequences for local people. So what are you going to do from here? Well, we're currently looking, looking at all the options, but one thing is absolutely clear. Although the fracking industry have got one, one planning application passed, community opposition isn't going to go away. People are informing themselves about the risks of fracking, and everywhere fracking is proposed, it is being opposed by local communities. Uh, let's talk to Ken Cronin uh, from UK Onshore Oil and Gas. Uh, we can speak to him now. Um, Mr Cronin, you heard what was said just a moment ago. The industry is dangerous, a dirty industry. There are still a lot of concerns from people locally, even though the decision has gone through, to do with safety and impact. What do you say to reassure people? Well, I think the first thing to say is that Third Energy in Yorkshire has been producing gas uh, in that area for over 20 years, very safely, very environmentally sensitively, um, and, and creating jobs and benefits for, for, for the county. Uh, we've spent the last two days uh, in Yorkshire, we've heard lots and lots of experts. Um, the Environment Agency, the Health and Safety Executive have already given approval for this project. Um, so it can be done safely and it can be done environmentally sensitively. See, the problem in a way is, is that Almost aside from the scientific uh, debate, which is ongoing, I, I believe there's 4,000 people locally who said they didn't want it to happen there. Now, why is it okay to carry on regardless? I think, first of all, it's not unusual to see objections to uh, any energy production onshore. We've seen it in wind farms, waste to energy, etc. Uh, I think it's also important to say that there are 600,000 people in Yorkshire 12% uh, of the UK's gas is consumed in that county um, and also uh, a large portion of those 4,000 uh, letters and objections were actually template letters. Some things you can't reassure people about though, for example, I mean it is now accepted, maybe you're challenging on this, that in Blackpool there were earthquakes caused by fracking. You can't reassure people locally that they won't suffer a, a similar incidents or, or, or something maybe worse. Uh, evidence was shown in, in the committee and also through the environmental permits that uh, the seismic uh, risk in, in that area is very, very low. Um, uh, also, I think people should take comfort from the fact that we've been producing gas in that county for over 20 years. OK, well, let's pick up some of the thoughts, if you would, with the EU Simon Bowes. I'm just on those template letters he's claiming, isn't he, that some of those 4,000 people who objected were, were writing on templates. What's your response? 
So, some of them were, but but what we've seen o o over the last two days is, is around about 80 or 90 people from the local community saying why they don't want fracking in front of the, in front of those county councillors. We've seen fr hundreds of people out, outside saying they don't want fracking. So, um, in, th there is massive opposition in in, in Rydale to 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 fracking in their in their local communities. That people understand the risks that this fa that, that this faces their health and their environment and increasingly their local, their local economy. 25% of people in Rydell work in agriculture and tourism, the two industries which are probably most likely to be threatened by fracking as it, as it rolls out. OK, Sam Burns, uh, friends of the Earth, from, uh, joining us there from North Allerton. Thank you also to Ken Cronin from UK Onshore Oil and Gas. Thank you for your time, both of you, this morning. Uh,